Joining us now via Skype with more on Turkish President Erdogan and the United States' withdrawal from Syria, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Alon Liel of the Program for Conflict Resolution at Tel Aviv University and a former ambassador and director general of the Israeli Foreign Ministry. Dr. Liel, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, now, do you find it more likely that A, the United States pulls out regardless of the, the Kurds' safety, B, the United States uh, sanctions Turkey somehow into complying with their demands, or C, uh, the United States withdraws its plan to withdraw from Syria? We are dealing here with two leaders, Trump and Erdogan. Uh, for both, it's very important to prove that they take the decisions uh, and they are the only ones to take the decisions. And uh, I think that uh, both of them are going to stick to the phone conversation they had uh, about two and a half weeks ago and will not let the officials uh, change uh, their understanding. So I think uh, the United States is going to pull out of Syria, even if it will be relatively slow, I think uh, Turkey will come in, uh, Turkey will be cautious with what it will do with the Kurds, uh, will be after ISIS too to prove Trump that they are delivering. And I think that the two leaders, whenever things are not functioning well, will come back to speak with each other. It's very important for both of them to show that they are strong and, and the only decision makers. Well, you know, uh, President Erdogan suggested that maybe he'll ignore uh, President Trump and he'll attack the Kurds as he said that he would do. Uh, do you think that the United States will respond uh, militarily or politically in some way to, the, to this action? Look, so far from what I read today about the meetings of Bolton, uh, the, the understandings between Trump and Erdogan are above the conversation of the officials. They still have their understanding about going out. So as, as he sees it, he, his entry that is very soon, in a day or two, is not contradicting Trump. Even if uh, Bolton put up a new condition, do not harm the Kurds. But, but uh, Erdogan sees himself acting uh, in coordination with Trump. Mm. Uh, so, okay, well, what, what about Israel? Because I know that Israel has, uh, in the past, has shown sort of a, a brotherhood, you could say, with the Kurdish people, um, you know, a kinship. Do, do you think that Israel can uh, or will, uh, if they could, do anything to help the Kurdish people in Syria? First of all, uh, the withdrawal of the troops, American troops from Syria, is a meaningful blow to Israel. Meaningful. If Turkey will come in, the north of Syria is not as important to Israel than the parts of Syria uh, close to our borders. So I don't think that if Turkey enters, even if it will involve some tension with the United States, uh, Israel will care a lot about what's going on uh, in the north of Syria. It's far away from its border. Another point is that all the time Israel, especially Netanyahu, is stressing our enemy in Syria is Iran, not uh, Russia and not Turkey if they will enter. We Don't forget we still have diplomatic relations with Turkey. So I think the Israeli focus will stay on preventing Iran from expanding its presence in Syria. And, and you don't think that the withdrawal uh, and, and, you know, maybe this, uh, uh, this tiff between the United States and Turkey will in any way hamper uh, Israel's ability or really the region's ability to push Iran back? Um, I think uh, Russia is more important here. I think uh, the limitations on uh, Israeli attacks on Iranian forces in Syria are coming from Moscow, not from uh, the United States. Uh, so I, I, I see a big difference 
between the area around Damascus, uh, the contact uh, uh, between uh, the Damascus airport and the Beirut airport, mm -hmm. and the north of Syria. So uh, I don't think what will happen in the north of Syria will attract uh, any Israeli military involvement uh, or, or a lot of attention. I think if Turkey will go in, even if Turkey will stay for a while and then uh, run the area through proxies, uh, Israel will have to accept it. Okay, Dr. Liel, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.